Given the nature of our current investigation, I have been looking at other assassins who, despite themselves, have helped the Templar cause. The first is Clay Kazmarek, who infiltrated Warren Vidic's Animus Project in Rome. He became the project's Subject 16. Kazmarek's rich ancestry helped Vidic to identify the Renaissance assassin Ezio Auditori as a person of interest. Driven mad by overexposure to the Animus, he committed suicide. However, Kazmarek may have unexpectedly become useful again. While in the Animus, Subject 16 came into contact with the first civilization entity known as Juno. Perhaps studying his bizarre Animus experiences can help us find a way to deal with the looming threat Juno promises. With Subject 16 out of the picture, Vidic needed a replacement. Desmond Miles, a runaway assassin, was captured in September 2012 and was used as Animus Subject 17 to further the search for an Apple of Eden. He managed to escape and uncovered an imminent threat to the planet. A solar flare similar to the one that wiped out the precursor race over 75,000 years ago. Desmond Miles also reactivated a first civilization temple in New York and used it to save the world, but it cost him his life. Abstergo recovered his body. In death, Desmond Miles became Sample 17, and his valuable genetic data was uploaded to the cloud servers in order to benefit all branches of Abstergo. Whether they live or die, we must continue to find ways to make the assassins work for us. I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. Okay, the numbskull is in another animus session, and I have required caffeine. All is right with the world. Good. This isn't really your kind of mission, is it, boss? Every mission is important in its own way. Still, I bet you'd rather be out with the rest of the team, hunting Sean Hastings or something. Wouldn't you? Hell yeah. I want a front row seat for that show. Any word from Sorkin? He's scheduled to update me in... 43 minutes. Good. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's it like, using an Animus? I went through the Animai training program. 
It felt like the drills we used to do in the UT Jäger. You never use a normal animus like this one? To relive your own genetic history? Only once. Really? Who were you? I was a young man. On the Viking raid on Lindsay Farm. 793, northeastern coast of England. Sorry, history nerd. So, how was it? It was summer. Good sailing weather. The monastery was a center for religious studies, and we crashed into the city like a tidal wave. And? And? We pillaged and burned. They thought we were demons. The details of the memory were so vivid. I lost myself in the bloodlust. I defeated a Saxon, a great warrior, but did not want to kill him. I invited him to join our clan. Ah, Norse adoption rituals. The chance to sail the world with the Vikings. Yes. A chance to see the world as it really is. What happened then? He wept. Then he cried out that God had abandoned his people and that nothing remained but chaos. I felt such pity for him. I killed him without a second thought. After we're done here, are we gonna have to kill the numbskull? We will see. Shit. What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back and Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Oh, you've attrapped me. What are you doing? I have no quarrel with you. You uncultured swine. You should not have left your backwater colony. Well, I don't have a son. In Philadelphia, actually. Oh, so he's a... Co Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Yeah. Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Oh! 
Thank you, Shay. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this... Uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. Keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing with this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the Assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating Precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the Assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but... a tree. These temples... Hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or... Lisbon. Or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in here. Lubeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer. James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir.
Gist, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. Well, the rain, it is rain. Flotsam, sir. Could be valuable cargo. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. Some evening I will tell tales about this voyage around a warm fire. This evening would be perfect. Get pent in the lads, it's a hell of a way. Lord, that prince cuts right to the bone. There she is! The HMS Pembroke, Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting.
Stop the turtle! The wheel. No spec! Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormack, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisburg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen. The Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. It is imperative we stop those ships, ship. Captain. Guns the outcome of the war is not Make good use of your own mortar, Shay. It will prove crucial if we are to see. Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. Adewale. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Ready to fire, sir. We're right in their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. Ready to fire, sir. Fire! More fire ships! Cannon ready! Miss, damn it! 
Wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Clear the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning! That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Wale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Hist. So was Elder Washington, and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. Wardrop, too. Though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along, you know. If you're trying to test my conscience, Guest, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shay, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, Guest. Aye, sir. And up jumps a slip soul, as strong as a horse. Says now, old skipper, you're miles off course. No windy or weather, stormy or weather. That's quite a wind, Captain. Loose and trip too. Top Gallant's Royal Stud. Loose top. Yeah. 
Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. At a Wally. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. 
What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed, gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Give me some speed! Full sails! Saints for service! What is that doing here? That makes no sense. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean-going vessel. She'll be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. But stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship in with? As the war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. But did I ever tell you the story of Madame Vrindet? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but... Point is, I think I know a safe place where we can debark. Sail on! So what's the plan? We bombard the fort? It would be foolhardy to simply storm that fort. We need to know what we're up against. I could take care of that. Indeed. Loose Let's find a safe place to dock. Take it! Hold the bed! Get off the wind! We'll go to the fort. Find out what Adewale is doing there. Keep the Morrigan close, Kist. Aye, sir. I'll keep her close, and I'll keep her safe. Good luck, Shay. I make my own luck, Master Kenway.
true. The Templars sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal shield. Terms picking the battlefield and on his own ship, he is most at ease. Fight those barters, and we'll be swimming home tonight. This river's getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. Shea has gotten us out of tight as space, and the lake ahead is a dead end. And a wally won't be able to run out. We missed. his ship a novel tactic he's saving his crew no he's making a last stand let's not disappoint him i will take the high ground and provide a distraction find another way Come, come! Ready 
You can slip away from us, you mazy dog! I can hit him from here. You will die as a traitor! Follow him, Shay. I will try to corner him. Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, Shane. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the war's not really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shea plays. What is our progress on the Precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next Precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer and mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. We've yet to find where Hope is hiding. And most criminals in New York report to her now. I better find the Grand Master. 